Lab-grown burgers are a great alternative to some who uh, may want to enjoy meat without having to slaughter an animal or, uh, to me, uh, more greatly, use up resources like a lot of water and grass that goes into making beef. Um, and before it had been prohibitively expensive uh, to, to enjoy lab-grown meat, in the past it had been 250,000 <laughs> uh, pounds, British pounds, uh, for a 140-gram patty which is astronomical. Uh, but according to a recent interview from uh, one of the professors working on this, Professor Mark Post, uh, the price has dropped to $80. Uh, no, it's not $80. It says 80 pounds per kilogram, per kilogram around $36 a pound, uh, for a, a patty of this lab-grown beef, approximately $9 for one burger. I pay more than that for a burger already in LA. <laughs> oh, good point. Yeah, yeah. So, would you would you try this at this point? Um, the curiosity cat in me says yes, yeah. but my brain is like, what? What? It's just a, it's the thing, and it's. Like... I mean, it's a little daunting, but I think it's worth a try for sure. So, because it's still meat. It is meat. Um, it is. It's used. Uh, with fetal calf serum is a method to grow these meats. Excuse me. I know, listen, <laughs> the process of farming and ranching is inherently gross. If it's you learn so about gross. meat production, you might not want to eat it, meat anymore. That's and this true. is coming from someone who loves meat. Uh, so it's actually made of 20, each patty is made of 20,000 thin strand, strands of muscle tissue grown in culture dishes uh, using the fetal calf serum, among other uh, ways of growing them. But you gotta yeah. sell it to me better than the I'm strands. Not, no and one's the getting thing. slaughtered. Uh, they need a PR department. I, I think this shows a lot of promise. Um, yeah, so right now it's been reported that these don't taste very good because, because they have not grown any fat. So think oh. about when you're eating beef how much fat content is uh, in it. It'll be it really it good makes for all the tasty. fitness people though. Like, they'll be like, yeah. Tasty. Oh, they don't care. They don't care how it tastes. I, they I do cardboard. not relate to this at all. <laughs> I don't understand but this. But the gym fanatics that just drink green and, and white protein, like, at least they can mm -hmm. chew on it. So some of the nutrition uh, scientists are working to uh, grow fat cells as well to make it more palatable. Right now, it's just too lean. It's too clean. No. We have to combine um, jelly belly efforts with the scientists for flavoring. Then you can have... Uh, sock flavored oh, burgers so or <laughs> Moroccan flavored burgers. No, I'm not going to eat that. Um, <laughs> I'm more interested in just a burger flavored lab grown burger at this point. McDonald's. Uh, I can see McDonald's doing it right. Well, right now it's like it's too hard to grow as much to meet that demand, especially McDonald's, who has a huge demand for meat. So we're, we're slowly getting there in this process. But that is a lot cheaper than what it once was. So we're on the road. Maybe once we grow, learn how to grow more fat cells in uh, tandem with growing the, the meat protein strands. I would certainly try this, uh, and I, I have high hopes for what it will be in the future. What do you think, audience? Would you try a $9 lab-grown burger? I think $9 is a fine investment. Uh, let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe for more.